after a number of flight delays, cancellations, and changes, we're finally at Metro Airport ready to go to Haiti. This time tomorrow, we'll be on the ground in Haiti ready to provide medical relief. But right now, we're going to have to have a layover in Florida overnight until we can catch another flight to Haiti tomorrow morning. Well, it's uh, 11.30, uh, the night cams, Tim Pamplin and I have um, arrived in Florida. We, are, uh, we flew into Orlando, and we are now in Melbourne, Florida. But we had a change in plans again, and our flight isn't leaving from Melbourne Airport. Instead, it's leaving from another airport uh, about 60 miles south of here in Fort Pierce. So we have to wake up about uh, 4 a.m. so we can get our gear ready and um, catch the uh, transport to Haiti at 6 a.m. Uh, don't know what to expect in the morning, uh, but I think uh, right now everything is going about as smoothly as we can expect. We're in the uh, staging area right now in uh, Fort um, Pierce, uh, Florida. This is the um, hangar area with the uh, planes that we're going to be taking, all of the incredible number of supplies that they have ready to go off the ground. Um, it's been a pretty rough morning right now. Uh, we hear that there's been a second uh, quake down in Haiti. Uh, not sure what to expect, but uh, we're ready. And uh, we have plenty of equipment um, to uh, treat anybody that we can. So this is uh, Florida, the sun has just come up. We're uh, receiving word that there was just a uh, second quake in Haiti, uh, 6.1, a uh, few miles from where we're going to be. Uh, I'm not sure whether there was any damage or what's going on exactly, but uh, we're still taking off as planned. Donations continue to pour in, and in fact, um, I was just given responsibility for uh, a large donation of uh, medications that were just about to expire that um, the airline is not allowed to transport, but because um, they've been given directly to me, I'm able to take them down to uh, Haiti for the relief effort. Um, it's amazing how they're able to get uh, the logistics of getting all the medications, food and other supplies through, but um, everyone here is working very hard to really make everything happen as quickly as possible. It's amazing.